Okay, folks. Um, after Dallas had his dinner, we put him outside to go potty. And one of the ways I could usually tell if a dog is used to using the bathroom in the house or outside is that they won't go to the grass and especially in this training facility where I put all of the dogs scent in one area and they won't go to that area instead see how he's trying to get back in instead what they'll do is they'll pee and poop right outside the door because the thing is what he's doing is he wants to get back inside to use the bathroom but we won't let him inside until he's done everything pee and poop so we have been having success with him going out and the going to this area but he really hasn't been going into that area. What he's been doing is he's been coming around and he's been pooping on the sidewalk here or peeing on the sidewalk here and then coming back around and back up to this porch. But if I don't, like in this instance, I didn't watch him. I just closed the door behind him and he came out and he pooped right there. And now he's sitting here waiting to go back in. So, I wanted to show that before it set Dallas, before um, I let him back in. So, we're going to set Dallas. We're going to continue with how he should properly enter the house. We've been working on this as well. Stay. All right, come on. should go in his spot there. I'm gonna have to tell him bad dog. So I say bad dog, he knows what he's supposed to do. That's why when I said bad dog, he just did what he was supposed to do. So, no bad dog, what did you do? All of those are negative terms and to get the dog to get back into place again, you know. Once they learn these terms, they'll just go right into place and so now he's just sitting there and he's waiting for me to release him he's just sitting there waiting Pay attention. I also say that to get them to look at me. This is their new vocabulary. Out. Out. And there he goes. Off to hang out. Go and hang out with the rest of the dogs. Okay, folks, over and out.